Hi Silhouetters, in my um, previous video tutorial on how to make a mini album I briefly discussed on how to use the scrapbook coloring pages.com and I wanted to go into this in a little bit more detail so you can learn the, the wonderful advantages of using this program. A lot of people are concerned when they print out their paper and stuff about using expensive ink and I understand this but the way that I use this is just to, to cut out certain images in that particular size with the background and the template that I um, posted on my blog will help you create four different color patterns when you go to scrapbook coloring so we're gonna go in here and make one real quick and let me pull that up okay here you are on the scrap uh, coloring dot com page and you see at the top it says color pages first name coloring it could you do all kinds of things or if you just want to make a single pattern you click here okay we're gonna to go to um, coloring pages and no I'm sorry that's not it color your photos and drawings there we go and then you notice here it says choose file and then I make sure that this is ticked black and white drawing and you choose the file and I'm going to go um, here to my scrapbook coloring template that I posted on my blog right here open that up and then you submit it hit submit and it takes a moment okay so there's our template the one that I um, shared on my blog and I'm going to do something in let's say um, greens today so you have your foreground color at the top and your background color so if you want your foreground to be a darker green you click on that and then with the background a lighter green and then you have all of these patterns to choose from all you have to do now is click on this one say we we'll want polka dots for one and then I click in this area and then I have a po polka dot background paper and I want another little image to go with it so I'm going to do the leaves and let's do some flowers and we'll also do these some snowflakes now oh, let's change that to hmm. where is there's there was one in here that I really let's do some lines like that and so now I have four different patterns in the same color range if you want to go back and change it to maybe a dark pink background to a I mean foreground to a pink you can do the same thing all you have to do is go in here and you click the same way I'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick and to save it you just go down here where it says HD and it it will swirl around for a little bit here oh and I wanted to tell you you can pick other colors if you don't find something in here in the color selection but right now I'm going to save this. Save, you right click, save image as, and I'm just going to throw it on my desktop and put uh, green papers and save it. Now I can close out of this. And then we're going to go over here real quick so I can show you how you can select more colors. Right in this range here, you can go to this area here if you want blues. You want a different shade of blue and we'll go up here to our foreground and we'll get in that same range and maybe select those blues and then when you go to click on these colors you want to fill your image you have all those shades of blue so this is how you use that little picker over here to change your palette 
Okay, and remember this is scrapcoloring.com and you can also go to just patterns if you just want to make one pattern and we'll just go with um, red and black and there you go and you can just save this one single pattern. Okay, now that we've done this I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and show you how it's going to work in studio. Okay, we're going to go to File, Open, and we know that's a ping file, so I'm just going to select ping, and green papers, OK. So I have my four little uh, images here, and I don't really pay any attention to this because it always says low resolution, even when I use very high resolution, and these are a higher resolution. So now you can go in and you can select your image. I'm just going to hop over to my library real quick and let's go with birthdays and celebrations and I'm going to grab this little cake. Okay, so I want this cake to go on a, a card. And I love that little polka dotted background that goes with it. So I'm just going to resize my cake to the size it needs to be. Then I'm going to select the entire area here. Go up to Modify and select Crop. There we go. Now I have my polka dotted cake. And I'm going to go back here and make sure that the cut lines are selected. And there we go. Now if I wanted those other pieces to cut out, we're going to go back and undo this. Whole thing. I'm going to move this out of the way. Select my cake. Make sure it's a compound path. So you put it back on here again. Take my cursor and just select everything here. Go back to my Modify tool and hit Crop. So now you can see, I'm going to blow this up a little bit so you can see that making this a compound path will leave all of these little areas here so they will also cut out and I have my pattern within my paper. Okay, I'm going to go back and just uh, fit to window. And I hope that you get a chance to use this. I have really done a lot of projects with it since it, since um, I discovered it can be done. Uh, Clever Someday from Clever Someday WordPress uh, blog told everybody about using this for um, four square paper. So I made the template and posted it on my blog. Uh, she's wonderful. She gives us so many great tips and tutorials and everything on how to use some some terrific internet gadgets and this is one of my new favorites so I hope you guys get a chance to use it and love it like I do. Have a great day. Bye.